Hello, beloved. God bless you. I want to read for you the book of Acts of the Apostles, chapter 19, verse 20. The Bible says, So mightily grew the word of God and prevailed. So mightily grew the word of God and prevailed. It is the will of God that the word of God grows, and not just grows, but grows mightily in your life. The, the word grow signifies that the word of God is an organism that grows. And the Bible says that it grows mightily. And when it grows mightily, it prevails. For it to prevail, that means there has to be a contest. There has to be a fight. When the word of God begins to grow in your life, it will fight carnality. It will fight sin. It will fight customs and traditions that are inconsistent with the will of God for your life. It will even fight lack. It will even fight poverty and hardships. When the word of God begins to grow in your life, it will fight failure. My God. It is the will of God that the word of God grows in your life. It will not fight all these things until it grows. I want to show you how to make sure the word of God grows in your life. Number one, you must prepare for the word of God before it comes in your life. That's what the Bible means in the book of James chapter 1 verse 21. He said, let us lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness and let us receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save our soul a lot of people have not been receiving the dividends that come from the word of god because they receive the word of god carelessly the bible said in acts of the apostles chapter 17 verse 11 that what differentiated the people of berea from the people of thessalonica was that they received the word of god with all readiness if you receive the word of god without readiness it will not bear fruit in your life that means before you receive the word of god before you study the word of god you must lay aside all filthiness you must lay aside all superfluitiness and upright everything that opposes the word of god directly there are things that oppose the word of god in your life directly that makes the word of god to be dead on arrival that when the word of god comes in your life it will not grow it will not germinate let alone growing the bible calls them filthiness secondly for the word of god to grow in your life you need to sow it Nothing grows until it is so. And the word of God is referred to as a seed in the Bible. In Luke chapter 8 verse 11, the Bible said, And the sower went out to sow the seed. And he said, The seed is the word of God. The Bible said in 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 23, The word of God says, We are born again not by a corruptible seed, but by an incorruptible seed, which is the word of God. So the word of God is referred to as a seed. So it will never grow in your life until you sow it in your life. That means you need to keep on regurgitating the word of God, eating the word of God, sowing it in your life. You must keep on sowing the word of God. Sowing the word of God, reading the scripture, studying the scripture, meditating on the scripture. When you study the scripture, when you meditate on the scripture, you are sowing an avalanche of the word in your life. Remember, the will of God is that it grow mightily. So don't make the word of God, don't sow the word of God scarcely in your life. You must sow it mightily for it to grow mightily. And the Bible says that when it is sown, it will grow. And when it grows, it will fight anything that does not look like God, that does not look like the peoples of God for your life, in your life. And then it will begin to prevail. I see the word of God prevailing over every circumstance in your life. I see the word of God making you mighty on the earth. 
I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that does not look like the word of God in your life is destroyed right now. The word of God prevails over your circumstance. The word of God prevails over the carnality that the devil has sown in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, the word of God says, any plant which my heavenly father does not plant or has not planted shall be rooted out therefore in the name of jesus anything that god has not planted in your life as the word of god is sown in your life let it give way right now receive peace receive grace in jesus name congratulations